Hello, welcome. In this video, we're combining like terms to break down this string of terms into a simpler, hopefully, expression. All right, so what's my first step? My first step is to rewrite subtraction as the addition of a negative. Adding negative 2y, for example, is the same as just subtracting 2y. And this is true for any, any, any number set. For example, if I say we have 8 minus 2, that's just 6. Well, that's the same thing as 8 plus negative 2. If I add a negative 2, I lose 2, I still get 6. So subtracting positive 2, or we usually don't write that positive sign, but I'll put it in there, is the same thing as adding a negative 2. Now this idea becomes really helpful in combining like terms. If I rewrite this as the addition of negatives, I find I'm less likely to lose track of the signs. Then I'm going to try to look at my exponents, and oops, I see we have negative 2x uh, x squared all by itself. There's nothing to combine it with, so I'll write that down. Negative x squared. I often look for the exponents first, um, so if I see anything that stands out, it's easy to group them that way. All right, what do we get next? Well, I see an x term here. That's negative 2x. And I see how it would add negative 3x to that. It's also easier. We, we put everything in terms of addition now. I find it easier to think of these things. So for example, here we have negative 2x, and we're adding negative 3 groups of x. So if you have two negative groups, and you're adding three more negative groups, how many negative groups do we have? The same as five negative groups of x. And I could just write minus 5x, but I'm going to be consistent and write plus a negative 5x. Right, we're adding that negative. 3 is all by itself, poor 3. But then we have um, negative 2y and plus another negative 2y there. So altogether we have, we're adding negative 4y. Now typically I wouldn't write it like this, but I think to help um, you think about this problem, uh, I, I'll write all the pluses in, but I would usually just write minus 5x plus 3 and then minus 4y. These are equivalent expressions. I write the second one usually for myself because uh, I like to speed things up when I can. Right? One less symbol to write. But uh, especially when you're learning this for the first time, you really want to think about writing uh, the subtraction of two terms as the addition of a negative. I find it really helps. All right, thank you.